everyone, Libby here again. Finally, I have the Cora review for you. So I'm going to little talk about my experience with Cora products. If you're not familiar, Cora is an line of organic products um, designed by Miranda Kerr. They're made in Australia. They're organic. They're cruelty free. So they sort of tick all the boxes that I, that I like to tick, um, ideally. So in theory, a perfect product. Cutest packaging, love it. Um, although perhaps a bit of a way to easily identify the products, but as being different. But they're also in different places in my house, so it doesn't really pose too much of a problem. I haven't had that, mi haven't mixed anything up yet. You just look at the label, and you can quickly see what they are. Um, but I think the colour is beautiful. I love the packaging. Um, my only criticism of the packaging, I will show you. Hopefully, this will be a, is. Um, that's what tends to happen to the inside of them. I think most of them are looking like that. Now that is my really the, my main my main criticism with the product. I I clean up the tissue and then two uses later, I'll be back like that again. Yeah, that's it. Cleanser. This is my shower. So they're sort of all. That one's not so bad, but they tend to get a bit like that. So <laughs> don't know you fix that problem. It's not a big issue. I just, I don't like it. I don't like to open up my product and like, this is a, a new one and it's still, it's already going like that. So that's, yeah, just a little thing. Okay, so I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna try and show you the sort of textures of these products and just talk about my experience with them. Now, I haven't tried everything in the range because um, I've been sort of um, gradually changing over and trying them out from the L'Occitane products that I really like. Uh, so I think I've tried most things in the range, maybe about 70 or 80% anyway, suitable for my skin, obviously that's all I've tried. So I will start um, with the hand cream, which <laughs> if you watch my um, empties video, you'll see I've got an empty one and I'm on to the second one. Absolutely love the hand cream, best day hand cream I've ever used. Um, I will show you, it just comes out, it's quite a, a liquidy one, and you get your nice messy lid. So it comes out, I'm going to show the camera rather than the screen. So it's a nice soft liquid thing. Look, I'll do this now and this will be dry because it's a very light hand moisturiser. So I, I still actually use my L'Occitane one for in the evening for it's a heavy one. But this is brilliant for during the day because they're almost dry already. Another few seconds and these hands are ready to, to use my computer whatever so I love that for that because I'll find a lot of hand creams and it doesn't leave your hands greasy or anything like that like they're, they're dry now I could pick up anything cups of tea even <laughs> so I do in the morning <laughs> I often do that so yeah so love 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 the hand cream highly recommend the hand cream now I haven't got prices here but you'll be able to find them on the website um I think it's just I'm not sure it's Cora or Cora Organics I bought my first initial order online because I was getting quite a bit of stuff, and then since then I've picked up things in David Jones. So, um, the um, if you're wanting to get a bit of stuff and try it, uh, order online because I've got a nice little freebie and some nice little things in there, which um, made me feel very special. So that was nice. Okay, so I'll start from I guess from the first to the last thing. So the first thing I have is the foaming cleanser. I've got the refine and clarify for normal to oily skin. So that's my one that I was recommended for me. I just moisturise my hands. Anyway, I'll show, I'm going to try and show you the product. So this is what I, I use this only in the morning. So I'm going to need a tissue now. So it comes out like that and you just um, massage it into, um, well your hands are damp because you're in the shower. So I just massage, massage it into my skin and wash it off. So that's easy. I'll grab a tissue. So it's really easy to use, leaves your thin skin nice and fresh, and it smells lovely. I find all the core products do smell really good too. So I've got the cleanser. I haven't got the face mist yet, which is like your toner, because I'm still using my L'Occitane one. So I haven't tried the mist. Um, and then you've got your, my one, the one I have anyway, is a purifying day and night cream, again, for normal to oily skin. So that's the one I use. My skin's not particularly oily anymore. It's probably more combination, but that was the best match. So, it's quite, again, quite, they're quite liquidy, a lot of the products. Well, not liquidy, but quite runny, I guess is the word. 
So that's the day and night cream. Now the one thing I do find with this, um, so there's way too much for my hands, so my hands get extra moisturized. You only need a little bit and it, um, it sort of takes a while to dry on my face and I find it sort of a really clammy, yeah, kind of a clammy feeling. I don't love the feeling of it on my skin. Like that's still drying. You saw quickly the hand cream dries so quickly that's still drying, although I've forgotten the step. Well, it's for day that would be what fine. Um, in the night time, or in the, yeah, so I've got the rose luxurious rose hip oil for the night, and that is really lovely. I love that. Um, so that would go on under your moisturizer. Yeah, the softest hand, so it's just a little. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna have a very nice soft hand. So that's your oil. <laughs> so uh, this is a little hand treatment while I do my review. So that's really nice. It's got a bit of an unusual smell to it. Probably the rose hip, I'm guessing, but it's not a bad smell. So you usually do that at night, you put that on under the moisturizer. Um, I'm not thrilled with the moisturizer, mainly because of this feeling. I'm still playing with it a little bit. So, because I've still got my other L'Occitane moisturizers to use, that which are much more creamy moisturizers. I just don't know if I was just getting used to, to it. Um, oh, excuse me. Okay, so that's enough about that anyway. So, not too sure about the night cream, the, the um, day and night cream. I don't quite know how it works for day and night. I've always sort of used separate, but I still will use separate. I would use that only at night because in my day I like to have a sunscreen. So, now they do have the tinted day cream, which has a sunscreen. Now, I've actually got it on today because when I first got it, it was in the middle of winter and it was way, way too dark for my skin. Now, I think it's not too bad today, maybe a fraction dark. But we are in the early spring. I think by summer, this will be fine. So I tried to go, so I was really, really actually very happy with it because the last time I thought, oh my gosh, this just doesn't, it's too dark for me because I usually use the lightest um, foundation, particularly in winter. But um, I think it'll be okay in summer. So it comes out, it's like a really chocolatey, I'm just trying to get a little, it's a sort of chocolatey color. Um, so let's just see how it rubs into my hand. So you can see my hand, it's sort of, Oh, Virgie has gone now, so yeah, I think once I get some freckles going and some, it blends in better. And that was, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I think in the summer, particularly for at the beach um, or theme park, things where you might get a bit hot and sweaty or whatever, and you don't want a lot of foundation on, I think that will be ideal. So I've also got your recovery eye cream. So and that's, that's really nice, I'm happy with that. How much, not too much to say, just show you a little tiny bit out. Oh, yeah, so that's nice. I'm happy to make that my eye cream. <laughs> um, I think it's a nice eye cream. So I don't know what else to say about that, but yeah, that's really good. And the only other product I have is the exfoliating cream. Now, this is unusual because it's, um, it's got, what does it say here? Gosh, my eyes, I can hardly read more things now. It says it's got a unique blend of organically grown oat flour and bamboo. So it's actually quite a gritty um, exfoliator. Probably can't. It's amazing because you can't see it, but when you feel it, it feels like little, I don't know if you're gonna see it, especially my freckles. But it's got, um, oh there you can sort of see the little bits in it. I don't know if it's about the, probably the bamboo, I'm guessing. Um, so it feels gritty, but it doesn't feel like a scratch at your face. It just it's uh, more like a sort of feel like you've got sand on your face or something like that. So, but yeah, I'm happy with that. So it's very different to my L'Occitane one, which I finished. So, but I'm happy with it. So basically, happy with everything really, <laughs> except for the messy lids. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that is everything that I have. So I've got what, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products that I've uh, tested for Cora. So definitely give them a big thumbs up. Really happy with them. We'll repurchase, I think, pretty much everything except perhaps maybe the night cream. I have to, when I finish the one I've got, I will use the Cora exclusively for a little while and see if I'm still happy with the results. But my skin looks, you know, I'm happy with how my skin looks. It's been. Yeah, I've had no issues changing over. Um, when it's an organic product, it should be fantastic. And yeah, I think it is. So uh, very happy. Definitely highly recommend it. If you've got any questions about anything, please let me know. If you've tried Cora, let me know what you think. Uh, I did have someone comment and say they thought it was a little bit expensive. 
I used to buy Lancome, so <laughs> once I stop buying Lancome, everything's cheap to, to me. It's <laughs> it's all cheap, so um, I'm not sure. I don't know. That's obviously something that you have to decide. As it's, for me, it just ticks so many boxes. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with it, and I'll keep buying it. And that is all I have to say. <laughs> Alrighty, I will talk to you later. Bye.